Whoa, there we go. There we go. Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share my top two favorite lures for fishing inshore in the springtime and also going into the summertime. And I have some footage, which I'm going to show you after this, uh, of some really nice fish being caught on these two lures. But if you really want to narrow it down and not have a huge lure selection, uh, because when you do get out there on the water, if you're just fumbling around switching lures every five minutes, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. So if you could just narrow it down to two lures in the springtime, I would definitely go with a top water, such as a Zara, uh, Head and Zara Super Spook Jr., great inshore lure for redfish trout uh, snook will also hit this and it pretty much catches anything out there and ideally i want to throw this first thing in the morning or later in the evening just before the sun goes down those twilight periods or low light conditions now the second lure pretty much follows up the top water because if you notice you're not getting any top water strikes or they're striking very short what i like to do is switch over to a soft plastic paddle tail such as the Slam Shady. And this rigs up really nice on the 3 uh, 1 16th ounce owner twist hook. cook. And you can fish this just below the surface. You can do a nice steady reel just below the surface because sometimes those fish may not want to hit quite at the top. They may want to hit just below the surface. So a nice little paddle tail or swim bait can really do the job. And if you need to slow down, uh, slow down the presentation even more, all you have to do is just let this sink to the bottom and you can bounce it uh, just like a soft plastic jerk shad or you can actually pinch or cut off the paddle section of the tail and now you have a very small profile uh, sort of soft plastic jerk bait with this one lure. Also you will notice that both of these lures are white. The Super Spook Junior is in that bone color and the Slam Shady is our custom color which is sort of an off-white with silver and gold in it and it works really well especially in the springtime because that's when bait fish are becoming much more uh, prevalent so you're going to have a lot of bait fish around and also they're going to be in that you know three to four inch range which is the same size as both of these baits so definitely matching the hatch in that scenario so let's go ahead and switch over to the on the water footage you'll see a really nice 27 inch trout i was able to catch on one of these lures as well as some other redfish so let's take a look Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a good trout, I think. Oh yeah. Good trout or good red. Hopefully it don't come off. Nice trout. Real nice trout. Using these new treble hooks by Savage Gear 2. They're supposed to allow the fish to move around more. Oh, that's not good. Other bait just wrapped around my line. Get off of there. No mind. That's not good. <laughs> the downfall of fishing on a kayak. Come on, get off there. Real nice trout. Ooh, that's a beast. <laughs> these hooks held onto that fish really nice. They're basically, these treble hooks have an eye made of braid. It's a 120 pound braid and they allow the hook to spin and rotate a lot more freely than if you were using a split ring because what happens with the split ring is it spins like a half a turn and it locks up and that allows a fish to use the leverage of the lure to pop off. Held on to that fish really good. Yes. Nice trout. Good. 
throwing the slam shady, just slowly reeling it in. A couple bounces every now and then. Nice little red. Slam shady red. Hooked into a red right off that point. Okay. I hear you. Slam shady. Right off that point, saw some wakes pushing off when I got closer and made a cast, and this one chased it down. Now, if you enjoyed that footage and you happen to not be an Insider Club member, you're missing out on a lot of key information when it comes to actually catching those fish. Yes, the lures are important in catching those fish, but what's most important is actually knowing where to go and when and what types of tactics to apply when you get to a spot. So if you're not an Insider Club member already, definitely be sure to check that out. I post weekly reports that include fish catching footage just like you saw. In addition, I pull up the maps and show you exactly where I went and why based on the conditions and also what tactics I use to catch those fish. So definitely be sure to check that out. And also since lures do come into play, also you know your tackle that you need, rods, reels, line, we have an online tackle shop that we give our Insider Club members 20% off in. So if it's a $500 reel, you get 20% off. If it's a $3 lure, 20% off. So some big savings in there when you have that membership. So definitely be sure to check that out. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, or perhaps you would like to share your favorite springtime lure, definitely let us know down below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.